Good evening. You're com coming to you live from Brooklyn, New York. Welcome to BCTV. Okay, ArcMax. You saw the live stream. Hopefully you've played with the features. Now let me show you what's really going on behind the scenes. Many more of you opted in to ArcMax than we thought. It's like 42% of daily actives right now. Hover is actually now, I think our most popular Arc feature adjusted for people that have turned it on. More than split screen, more than picture in picture. So a lot of you have turned it on. A lot of you are using it and you are using literally the most expensive features in ArcMax. <laughs> you pick the ones that light cash on fire. Sounds like a good problem to have, right? It is still a problem. So the, the tricky discussion of the board meeting this week was we don't want to charge, but we got to figure out a way to justify it somehow. And we're really hoping that is growth. We're really hoping that is you all refer your friends and colleagues so that we can keep these features free. There's a world in which we start charging to offset the cost, but you know, that's the thing we're grappling with. But to be honest, we just ended last week. You know, we had the launch, we had the board meeting. I got on a plane to the wedding and this made my week right here. This is a total tangent, but yeah. speaking of AI features, this browser that David put us on, this, yes. uh, what is it called? Arc, Arc Browser, browser yeah. um, has this big new update where they added a bunch of AI features yeah. and they're actually genuinely very useful. And yeah. one of them is just, hey, summarize this web page for me. So if I'm on a web page, I ask it for a summary and then it cites the ex it cites the part of the website that it's drawing that fact from. So you know when it's making something up or if it is actually <laughs> drawing from the actual page. Yeah. That's that's good AI. Yeah, that's good Google, AI. Google, do a little more of that, please. It was so cool to hear him say genuinely useful AI. That's what we went for. And we're huge fans of MKBHD and the whole team over there, David and co. So definitely, definitely rounded out the week in a pretty special way. Okay, now what you've been waiting for, what's new in ARC? This first one's my favorite. Rishi, Peter, they just, this little touch. Now, when the arc window is in the background, it's just slightly dimmed. Why is it slightly dimmed? So you don't accidentally hit a keyboard shortcut or try and click without realizing it's in the background. It's just the tiniest thing that you would never think about and it feels so much more intuitive and useful to use Arc now. Little Arc, Little Arc, I bet you love it, but I also bet you hate that you accidentally write over Little Arc tabs. Finally, 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 Ben and Peter fixed that. Now you can open multiple Little Arc tabs and see if you can pay attention to the new snazzy animation uh, they just introduced. It not only is fun, but also makes it more intuitive about where it's coming from and where it goes back to. Last, but definitely not least, performance, performance, performance. We're focused on it, I promise. We were seeing this thing where sometimes tabs would go blank. They're called renderer crashes. Renata from Boulder put up some big, big, big wins here to make sure those go away or as much as we could find. Um, and then Seb and Adam, they shipped a fix to essentially in the background, get rid of these tabs that are hogging resources, hogging CPU. And, and we've already been able to track 81,000 instances of websites doing bad things with CPU. And we just boop, get rid of them for you. So please thank Seb and Adam. They did awesome work on this. Now going to kick it over to Tara. She's going to talk to you about what we're calling layups. They're great. So uh, we're so grateful that you all have been so amazing at sending us product ideas, um, feature enhancement ideas, things that would just make your life in ARC that much more delightful. And recently we've been actually like looking to take on a whole bunch of these new features and we're calling them layups. And we really see a layup as a, a feature which takes like one to three days to prototype to feel it internally and then to get out to you all so that you're eager to smash on that update button. Um, a couple examples of layups that we're really excited about. Uh, skinny sidebar, we actually have a prototype for this internally. Um, we're really excited about it. We're gonna feel it a bit more, refine it. No promises, but this is one that we're eager to shape up and explore. Um, another layup that we're really excited about is snoozing taps for later. Um, this is one that I've wanted since day one in ARC. It just feels like ARC is a productivity tool for me. The ability to like snooze something, bring it back later, uh, feels very natural. So there's a lot of different examples in here. We're eager to, to add to this. Um, we've been getting votes from across the company. So please leave a comment. Let us know what you're excited about in here, um, what ideas you've been dreaming up. And over the next few months, fundamentals will be focused on bringing as many layups as we can to life. So it was actually just a dinner with Tara and it was a very divisive debate I wanna let you in on because we talked about it at the board meeting too. We're finally gonna do mobile. Not right now, not not this moment, but it's it's on the horizon. It's coming soon. 
there's this fork in the road. Direction number one is we're so close to Arc for Mobile today being ready for you all or really being able to replace your default browser. We gotta add support for multiple tabs. We gotta let you literally set as your default browser. Not much, it's so close. The second route is right here on my phone. That's the lock screen. Okay, nope, that's not it. Check that out, you see that? That is a prototype. That prototype is us asking if you built, a browser company was started today, and you, we were a mobile first company, what would the best mobile browser look like? Don't even worry about Arc. It's pretty damn nice, but it's tricky because people want mobile for different reasons. Some people are like the value of mobile is having a mobile browser and a desktop browser that are in tight sync. They just want that in sync behavior. For other people, they want the best mobile browser ever invented the browser company way. And honestly, sync between desktop and mobile, it's good, but it can be secondary. So we don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, honestly, we'll probably just quickly bang out a better version of the current app, but man, just look at the blue, blue. There's so much potential. So if you have any strong opinions, leave them in the comments. We're gonna be, this debate will be raging for the next few weeks. And uh, yeah, mobile coming to you early next year, hopefully, either way. All right, that's all for this update. Tomorrow night, I get back on a red eye to Paris. It was a really memorable trip to New York and uh, I'll see you in a few weeks back here on YouTube. Blue.